um, where they also began to abuse children. This is uh, this couple, Pauline and David Williams, in the 1980s. The abuse then continued after they moved to Exeter in the 1990s, where they ran the Victoria Inn. And we'll have more details on this, but a police spokesman has said that this relates to historic intelligence connected to the address and its former occupants, and it is expected to take up to four days to complete. Touching the garden of the house that you can see behind me, uh, the scaffolding and tarpaulin was uh, erected over the last 24 hours, and the police have been in there. Now, we haven't had any machinery in there this morning. We've had what sounds like spades and other manual activities going in, but there's probably about a dozen officers inside there now. As you say, this was the home of David and Pauline Williams, um, two paedophiles. As you say, David Williams jailed for life last year. Pauline Williams jailed for 12 years for a string of sexual offences against young boys and girls. Now, the police say they're acting on um, historic information that they've been given with regard to this, and they expect the search here is going to take about four days. Thank you, Ben, for coming to the programme. Thank you very much, uh, Amy. In, in Devon, uh, Siobhan, welcome to you. Uh, this is all springing, we told, from a tip-off that police received. Yes, that's right. If you have a look behind me, you can see part of the house which is now being uh, searched by police. The back garden, we understand, is being excavated. Up there um, is the scaffolding that police actually had put up yesterday. They began putting that up so that they could carry out their investigations, which they say is linked to a historic investigation to the people who used to live inside this house. And, of course, we know the people who lived in this house for a number of years before they were jailed back in November were Pauline and David Williams. Now, they were jailed between them for sexual and physical abuse on girls and boys stretching over a 15-year period. Uh, David Williams was jailed for life, his wife Pauline for 12 years, and David was found guilty, among many offences, of 10 counts of rape. Now, we understand they actually only lived in this house for a number of years. They spent uh, a lot of their time from the 1990s in the Exeter area, but before that, in the 1980s, they had based themselves in Gloucester, and during that trial last year, it came out that uh, David Williams had boasted about connections to Fred West. Now, he said that Fred West had drunk in a pub um, that he had worked in. Apart from that, it's not clear how strong the connection was between them. Some people have talked about them as friends, but that hasn't really been confirmed. You can see police officers coming and going as we speak. It's a very busy uh, investigation at the moment, expected here to last for around four days. Now, just looking back at that Fred West connection, the likelihood of Fred West being connected to them at this property is probably fairly slim. As I said, they only lived here for a few years and Fred West would have been dead for many years before that. But police have said because of this anonymous tip-off that they got connected to that investigation, which uh, went to trial October, November last year. They are now searching the garden behind me. Just looking at some aerial pictures, giving us a perspective on the back garden that's been shrouded from public view. I mean, this is obviously pretty disruptive for people who live in the area, and they'll want they'll be forgiven for wanting to know as much as possible about this investigation. You mentioned that it was an anonymous tip-off, Siobhan, because sometimes you get tip-offs that come from people who've been jailed and decide they want to clear their conscience, all the rest of it. Are, are we getting any guidance from the police as to how strong this tip is, where it might have come from, what it's leading them towards? No, we haven't had any guidance in that sense at all. We're couching it as anonymous. Obviously, the police will know who that has come from. Um, all we know is that as part of the investigation that they carried out last year, they have since had um, information relating to this property, which they've decided to act upon and to look into. Uh, moving to what you're saying about this little community, it's a rural community just outside Exeter. We've been speaking to some of the neighbours today who didn't want to go on camera. They've said that they were aware of the couple, but they didn't know them that well. They'd only lived here for a few years and seemed to keep themselves fairly much to themselves. Siobhan, thanks very much indeed. Of a Devon house which was home to a paedophile couple who were once friends with the serial killers Fred and Rose West, David and Pauline Williams were jailed last year for the sexual abuse of ten boys and girls. Officers have begun digging up their garden in Devon following a tip-off. Well, Hamish Marshall joins us now from Bradninch in Devon. Um, we can see the hoarding behind you, Hamish. Tell us what's happening there. 
uh, during the course of the morning and we have actually heard sounds of digging nothing mechanical sounds like spades against earth that we've been hearing there we don't know as i say what's going on there it is quite a small garden this house was owned by david and pauline williams they were jailed in autumn of last year for a string of sexual offenses against young boys and girls david williams is serving a life sentence pauline williams is serving 12 years both were in their 50s now it's not thought that they're actually lived at this address for very long. They had previously lit, run a pub in Exeter and lived in nearby Tiverton, as well as, as you say, um, living in Gloucestershire in the 1980s and 1990s. At the trial, it came out that David Williams had boasted that he knew Fred West because Fred West had drunk in the pub that he had run in Gloucester. We don't know any more than that about the, the links that they may have had. So police say they're acting on a historic piece of information that they've got to do with what may be in this garden, and that's why they've started this operation. They say the operation itself could take up to four days. Thank you very much indeed.